Big news for international students in Canada. The Post-Graduation Work Permit, PGWP, program, has just undergone some crucial changes that you need to know about. Did you know that taking even a short, unauthorized leave from your study program can now make you ineligible for a PGWP? Yes, you heard that right. And if you've transferred from a non-designated learning institution, DLI, to a DLI, only the time you spent studying at the PGWP-eligible DLI will count towards your work permit eligibility. Plus, you must spend at least eight months at the new DLI to be eligible for a PGWP. This update can be a game-changer for many students planning their education and career path in Canada. So, what does this mean for your future in Canada? How can you navigate these new rules to ensure you qualify for a PGWP? Are there any tips to avoid these pitfalls? Stay tuned because we're diving deep into all these questions and more in today's video. But before we dive in, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for the latest news and updates on Canadian immigration policies. Now, let's begin. First things first, what exactly is the PGWP? The Post-Graduation Work Permit is an open work permit that allows international students who have graduated from eligible Canadian institutions to work in Canada. This means you can work for almost any employer in the country, with a few exceptions like those offering services in the adult entertainment industry. Eligibility Criteria for the PGWP To be eligible for a PGWP, you must meet several criteria. Let's break them down. 1. You need to have completed a study program at a designated learning institution, or DLI, that lasted at least eight months and led to a degree, diploma, or certificate. 2. You must have maintained full-time student status during each academic session of your program, with certain exceptions for approved leaves or part-time studies in your final semester. And 3. Your study permit must have been valid at some point during the 180 days before you applied for the PGWP. If your study permit was about to expire before completing your study program, you must have had a study permit extension application under processing with IRCC. Documents needed for PGWP application. Now, let's talk about the documents you'll need when applying for a PGWP. These include a copy of your degree or diploma, your academic transcript, and an official letter from your school confirming the completion of your program. Keep these documents handy and apply as soon as you receive your final marks, because you only have up to 180 days to do so. When to apply for a PGWP But what happens if your study permit expires before you receive your final marks? Don't panic. You have a couple of options. You can apply for a visitor record to stay in Canada longer, or leave Canada and apply for your PGWP from outside the country. Alternatively, you can apply for status restoration if your study permit expires before you apply for the PGWP. Remember, you cannot work until IRCC approves your new study permit and work permit. Effect on PGWP if students take leave from studies. Here is an important update. Taking unauthorized leave from your study program can make you ineligible for a PGWP. However, if you take authorized leave of up to 150 days for valid reasons like pregnancy, medical issues, or family emergencies, you'll still be eligible. Just ensure this leave is officially authorized by your DLI. But what exactly counts as authorized leave? According to IRCC, it includes reasons such as pregnancy, medical issues, family emergencies, the serious illness or death of a family member, or any other type of leave authorized by your DLI. Even if your school closes permanently or there's a strike, you're covered. If you change schools or defer your program start date, you need to start your studies in the next available semester. Who is ineligible for a PGWP? You might be wondering, who is not eligible for a PGWP? If your study permit expired more than 180 days before you applied, if you've already received a PGWP, or if you studied English or French as a second language, you're not eligible. The same goes for those who took general interest or self-improvement courses, participated in certain government-funded programs, completed most of their program through distance learning, studied at non-Canadian institutions in Canada, or attended private career colleges, with some exceptions. Extending your PGWP. Let's not forget, the PGWP is typically issued for the duration of your study program up to a maximum of three years. 
This is fantastic news for master's, PhD, and professional study program graduates. However, if your passport expires before the duration of your PGWP, IRCC will issue a work permit valid only until your passport's expiration. In such cases, you can extend your PGWP after renewing your passport. Tips for a successful PGWP application Here are some tips for a successful PGWP application. Apply early and ensure you have all your documents ready. Don't break any laws, as this could make you inadmissible to Canada. Stay updated with the latest information from Canada Travel Zone channel and ensure your study permit or visitor status remains valid throughout your stay in Canada while awaiting your PGWP. New PGWP Criteria for July 2024 Finally, let's talk about a crucial update for July 2024. Canada has recently updated the eligibility criteria for the PGWP. One significant change is for those who transferred between PGWP, eligible DLIs. The combined length of your study program must be at least eight months to be eligible for a PGWP. If you transferred from a non-DLI to a DLI, only the time you spent studying at the PGWP eligible DLI will be counted. You must spend at least eight months at the new DLI to be eligible. International students graduating from a master's degree program are now eligible to apply for a three-year PGWP. Even if the length of their study program is less than two years or even one year, this is a game changer for many students looking to gain valuable work experience in Canada. So what does this mean for you? If you're an international student planning to study in Canada or currently studying here, these updates are crucial for your future plans. Make sure you understand the eligibility criteria, gather all necessary documents, and apply within the required time frame. This is your chance to gain valuable work experience, build your career, and potentially transition to permanent residency in Canada. In conclusion, staying informed and prepared is key to successfully navigating the PGWP application process. Keep up with the latest updates from IRCC and take advantage of the opportunities available to you. Canada offers a wealth of possibilities for international students, and the PGWP is a fantastic way to kickstart your career here. That's all for today's video on Canada PGWP, important news for international students. Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. We hope this information is useful to you. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on Canadian immigration news. Until next time, take care and stay informed. Bye! Warning sign. Disclaimer. All content of this video is intended for educational and informational purposes only. The use of images, videos, and audio clips adheres to the fair use doctrine, allowing for limited use of copyrighted material for purposes such as commentary, criticism, news reporting, teaching, and research. We ensure to provide proper attribution and respect the intellectual property rights of others. This channel aims to enrich the viewer's knowledge and understanding through transformative content. Thank you for watching and supporting our channel.